If you're trying to automate your business with an AI application, it's key you get the same consistent data format back every single time. OpenAI recently introduced JSON mode for structured output, but you can do the same with Claude. It's just not very well documented and there's a few tricks you need to know. So I'll show you how to do it using the Claude 3.5 Sonnet API. We'll use this vision capabilities to capture some data off an invoice and save it to consistent JSON format. Okay, let's go. So let's go look at some Python code. And there's really two important sections you need to understand if you wanna get consistently structured JSON responses. And the first is you have to set up a tool. And Claude supports tools, which are basically some external logic that you can use in your prompt. And this is how you define your tool. And first you have to give it a name and description. So this can be really anything you want. In this case, I'm extracting invoice info. So that's what I called it. Then more importantly is the input schema. This is where you define exactly the structure you want returned. In this case, I'm gonna use the vision capabilities of Claude to extract some data from invoice. And I actually only want three properties returned, an invoice number, an invoice date, and a total amount. I don't care about the rest for this example. And then for each property you define, you wanna give it a type. So some different types you can use. I'm gonna use string for all these. I just want the text back. And then also give a description describing the property. It's actually very powerful what you can do with the description, and I'll explain that more in a second. And by the way, I'll put all this code in my GitHub repo, and I'll link it in the description of the video. And then you wanna define which of the properties are required. This means if this tool is used, they must be returned back. In this case, I wanna make all three required. And the second important section you need to know about is the prompt itself. And so here we're gonna say, analyze the following invoice image and extract the following information. And then put those three properties we defined our tool above, put that right in your prompt. We're also gonna say, use the ex extract invoice info tool to provide the extracted information. So we're gonna tell it right in the prompt what tool we want to use explicitly. And this is an important part. We're gonna say, if the image is not an invoice or data is missing, still return using the tool, but use values of null. So the reason this is in here is if you pass in Say we passed in another image, which I'll show you in a second. I'll do a test on that. But if you pass in another kind of image that's not an invoice, we still want it to return the same JSON object with the same three properties. Just put null in there. But if you didn't put this in here, it would just return nothing because it wouldn't even use this tool. So now that the prompt's done, we just got to tie that together with the tool. So you do that when you create the message. So you do it at thropic.messages.create. The model we're going to use is the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model. And in my experience, that's the one I'm having the most success with right now. So we'll, we'll use this one. And then you have to specify the tool you created above and pass that into the message as well. And for the message itself, we're gonna take the prompt we had and we're also gonna attach that image. And you do that using a base64 encoding and then just passing in the image here. So let's test this out and see how it works. If you look at the main function here, this is where we put in our image path. So this is the actual JPEG of the invoice. And then we just get JSON files and output. So here's our sample invoice. It's just from a cleaning service company. And if we run it, we get back this JSON file, which is exactly what we're expecting. It's got the right invoice number, the right invoice date, and the right total amount. So the vision captured it perfectly and put it into this JSON file in the exact format we requested. So let's see what happens if we just put in a image of this elephant juggling. If we run it again, now we get back three nulls, which is exactly what you want. Now we can put logic in our application to take these and process them manually in a situation like this. But it's nice that we have it in the same format no matter what we give it. And that works really well. But let's say we want to fine tune the formatting even more. Let's say we want to take the dollar sign away from the front of the total amount. So we look back at the code in the tool section and we look at the description. So let's say in the description we put in for total amount, we say, don't include the dollar sign. And that's all we have to do. So we run that again. Now it comes back with a JSON file and it doesn't have the dollar sign anymore. So this is actually really powerful because it allows you to format basically everything. So for example, you could give a date format you want for your invoice date, you know, you know all kinds of things. And you can just put it in the description of that property and then you get a nice consistent format for that property for all the images you pass through it. Pretty powerful what you can build now very quickly. This is a really simple example, but I've done even more complex ones with things like medical records or real estate listings. And from my experience, it's been working really well. I'm gonna be doing more videos on building AI applications coming up. So make sure you subscribe if you wanna see those. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're having an amazing day. I'll talk to you in the next one.